The K-21 is a South Korean infantry fighting vehicle. A replacement for the K-200 series, it was formerly designated as K-300 or XK-21 KNIFV, Korea Next Generation Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The initial production began in 2009, with the Republic of Korea Army planning to field approximately 466 units. It is designed to effectively defeat other IFVs as heavily armed and armored as the BMP-3. History Development began in 1999. A $77 million contract was awarded to Doosan DST for the NIFV prototype in 2003. Three prototype vehicles were delivered to the ROK Army in 2005. A contract for the first batch of K-21 vehicles was signed in October 2008 worth $386.7 million. Production began in November 2009 after a 10-year development period. K-21S will be deployed from 2013 through 2016. Construction. The K-21 NIFS chassis is constructed entirely out of aluminium with certain parts, like hatches, made of fiberglass, reducing the weight of the vehicle and enabling it to travel at higher speeds without bulky and powerful engines. The NIFV is to be lighter than other IFVs, including the American Bradley series increasing both speed and payload. The design was finally deemed production-ready in 2009, following 10 years in development and a research budget expenditure of approximately 80 million US dollars. More than 85% of the vehicle's design is domestic. However, a redesign is in order following the sinking of two vehicles while engaged in amphibious operations. A board of inquiry found that the problem was a lack of buoyancy, a malfunctioning wave plate, and a technical problem with the drain pump all of which are to be corrected in the new design. Armaments. The two-man turret on the K-21 is armed with an SNT Dynamics K-4040 mm cannon. The K-4040 mm automatic gun was developed based on the design of the Nobong 40 mm twin naval cannon, which was developed to replace the OTO Malara Dardo CIWS, which was serviced by the South Korean Navy, capable of firing APF SDS, high explosive, smoke and multipurpose munitions, and a 7.62 mm machine gun. This is combined with an advanced fire control system and gun stabilizer usually found on third generation main battle tanks that makes the K-21, together with the German Puma, able to move and engage the targets with high degree of accuracy at the same time. The ammunition for the auto cannon is stored under the turret. The 40 mm cannon can fire up to 300 rounds per minute, with a projectile velocity of up to 1,005 meters per second, 3,300 feet per second. The improved APF SDS for it are able to penetrate up to 160 to 220 millimeters, 6.3 to 8.7 in, of armor, slightly higher than other similar rounds, due to a self-sharpening process as the round penetrates armor. The K236MMFA, multi-mode fused ammunition, has several modes including proximity, air burst, armor piercing and fragmentation. The mode is configured by the K21's FCS which then transmits the necessary data to a small programmable fuse system inside the round before it is fired. This allows more control over the trajectory and impact of the round, expanding the scope of possible targets from medium armored vehicles to aircraft and infantry personnel. Anti-tank armament includes an indigenous third-generation ATGM, with performance similar to the Israeli spike and armor penetration of 700 to 1000 mm, 28 to 39 in, of RHA base. Sensors. The fire control system is able to spot and track targets as far away as 6,000 meters, 3.7 miles, away and identify them from up to 3,000 meters, 1.9 miles, away. IFF sensors are also present. The vehicle also has hunter-killer capabilities with its separate commander's sight, IFV commander's panoramic sight or ICPS, and gunner's sight, IFV gunner's primary sight or IGPS, which can detect both ground and aerial targets. The sights are designed by Samsung Thales. The gunner's sight is equipped with a third-generation thermal viewer and a 1.54 micrometers laser rangefinder. It can detect targets from 6,000 meters away and identify them from 3,000 meters away. The commander's sight is equipped with the same system as the gunner's. This allows the gunner to use the commander's sight to engage targets if his own sight is disabled or destroyed. The commander of the vehicle also has the ability to override the command to take control of the turret and gun from the gunner. Armor. Although not much is known about the composition of the K-21's armor, the frontal armor of the vehicle is specifically designed to protect against large-caliber automatic cannon rounds, primarily the 30mm APDS munitions, 30x165mm, 
for a 2A72 automatic cannon used on BMP3, which has approximately 50mm armor penetration at ranges of 1000M. The side armor is designed to protect against 14.5mm AP rounds, which have approximately 25mm armor penetration at 1000M. The top can withstand fragments from 152mm artillery shells exploding as close as 10 meters. It has been confirmed that the composite armor comprises S2 glass fiber and AL203 ceramic including lightweight aluminium alloy. The vehicle has a soft self-sealing fuel tank that can absorb the impact of a projectile. There is also an automatic fire suppression system inside the vehicle to extinguish any internal fires that might erupt. The K21 PIP Product Improvement Program will include an active protection suite and hard-kill anti-missile system similar to the AWISS that will also be utilized for the K2 PIP. This will increase the vehicle's ability to defend itself against various ATG MIS troop deployment. The K21 is able to carry a total of 9 passengers and 3 more vehicle crew members. With the battle management system, the vehicle crew and passengers inside the vehicle can be instantly notified about the environment around them, improving their situational awareness. A 15-inch, 38 centimeters screen is installed inside the passenger compartment which provides various data from the bms the vehicle is mounted with an external ccd camera and the passengers inside can survey the environment using the same screen mobility the k21 is equipped with a turbocharged deuce nd 2840 lx cv10 diesel engine the vehicle weight is approximately 25.6 tons which combined with the total output of the engine gives it a power-slash-weight ratio of approximately 29 horsepower per ton. The K21 PIP will feature an improved version of the engine that will give the vehicle an increased power of 840 horsepower. A newly developed semi-active ISU, or in-arm suspension unit, is available for the K21. The same unit is to be used on the K2 Black Panther. Despite having the same ISU used on the K2 Black Panther, the K21 cannot change its posture. The vehicle can travel on both land and water. A pontoon system gives more buoyancy to float on water when additional weight is put onto the vehicle. Currently, 550 units are in Republic of Korea Army service.